A few days ago, I was pushing to Elite League on Classic Season with my smaller account when I realized that I had no many options on B-Class in order to reach Champion League because I had the Ferrari La Ferrari full Max Pro but I thought that was not enough for the kind of matchmaking I was getting so I started searching on my garage which other cars I could use and then the worst thing happened. So, with no more delay, let's get into it. I can feel the power, I can feel the power, feel the power, yeah. So yeah, on my small account I had a not really good class B cars and I wanted to reach Champion League so I decided to use this McLaren MP48 which I had multiplayer configured from long time ago and basically I had no idea if it would work with the new matchmaking system but oh god I have to say that seriously this car is so good I mean I used to hate the multiplayer configured cars back when I used to drive my Pininfarina H2 speed against this kind of multiplayer configured MP420, MP48, but seriously guys, I, I, I can understand right now <laughs> the other drivers because this car is extremely good for some reason at this rack. The acceleration is better than most of the cars, except in maybe the Formula Egen, which I already reviewed on my channel a few days ago, a few videos ago, but this car is cheaper, I guess, than the Formula Egen, as you don't need to fully upgrade it, you, you, you just need to find the exact combination of upgrades in order to have a multiplayer configured McLaren MP48, as I had, as I already shown. And <laughs> this car is so good because the top speed is already higher than the Pininfarina H2 speed or the Volkswagen EDR, but also is quite close to the top speed of other cars around this rank, like the Formula Egen, which is basically the king of this uh, rank bracket on the classic season multiplayer, is so close also to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which you are seeing right now. I mean, I will face a lot of these Porsches during the multiplayer test I'm showing you guys right now, but <laughs> this car is so good. It's like so balanced for this rank, despite this car full pro rank is like 16 40 54 or so which is a way further than it is right now and i think i won't upgrade it on my small account because on my main account i already have fully upgraded this car and is not not really useful but at this account is like a hidden gem i mean i didn't expect this car to be so good i used to hate them a lot because well they they basically eat my pininfarina h2 speed alive but now that I had the chance to test one of them, one of the multiplayer configured McLaren MP48, I have to say that I'm greatly surprised because right now I'm actually scared. I don't want to upgrade it anymore because if I upgrade it a bit more, we'll have a, the rank increased. And if it has the rank increase, we'll face a stronger multiplayer opponents on the next uh, rank bracket. I have to say that these races were extremely close and I recorded a few more, but I decided to not to show this because if I commit an error and I mess on a lap with using this car, I think that the car has doesn't have the problem. It's my problem, not the car's one. So that's why I decided to show those races where at least I did decently with the car because if I wreck because I'm so new, it's not the car problem. It's my problem, so I decided to not to show it. Also, I have to say that these rivals were extremely skilled. Most of them provided a huge competition against this car because let's remember that the Porsche 911 GT3 RS that I'm facing right now is like four kilometers per hour faster than this uh, multiplayer configured uh, McLaren MP48. So uh, still the difference uh, wasn't really big. So that's why I guess the races were so close and the rivals also were, of course, really skilled. So if you have this car at stock, you can try the multiplayer configuration I show you at the beginning of this video. And let me know if, the, if it actually works because nowadays I have no chance to test my Pininfarina H2 speed because I basically found, I basically found, found like a lot 
of higher cars like the Formula e Gen or the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So using a Pininfarina or a Volkswagen e right now is not the most worth uh, thing you can do. That's why if you have this car, you maybe have a really good car for multiplayer if you multiplayer configure it. I really hope you all guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in comment. Drop your like and remember to subscribe and I will see you soon. I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man Take it, no receive it, I'ma make it mine I'm explosive like a mine I've been working every time Yeah, I do it on the grind I'ma shine, I'ma shine, yeah Every single day I'ma kill this competition Cause I'm going so insane, yeah I don't really go by so insane, yeah I guess really ran through the pain But I'm just back on my path And I fixed it, now it's really all okay So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him This is mine, yeah, yeah